wasn't the wind that did all this, it was water. It's as if this has been destroyed by a tsunami, and in many ways it has. An enormous four meter storm surge swept into the coast, crushed all of these buildings, the whole of this neighborhood flattened. What you can't see in the pictures is the smell. There is a sweet stench pervading the whole of this neighborhood. Nancy's house survived, but the water came smashing in through the second floor windows. With her daughter in her arms, she swam to the life. Water. You go and go into your mouth. Yes, sir. You just get into my mouth, uh, and then we just escape. We want to survive. I, we think that it was just a, a dream. We just, it was our last. As we drive on, we see more and more bodies. The city's main shopping mall has been completely looted. The police have disappeared. Everywhere we go, the pier is the same. Please help us. No one can help us. No one can find from the government. No point. So it's like an animal. Outside the ravaged cathedral is one of many makeshift walls. The stench here is overwhelming. This young man has just found his father. Nearby, the priest is offering prayers for the dead. How many dead? No one. Rikudu Kune, BBC News in Takloban, Central Philippines. The Philippines are used to typhoons. They've had more than 20 this year, but none of this strength. 